These were the scenes across the country earlier this week. What the meteorologists call a polar vortex sent temperatures plunging from the Midwest to the East Coast. The Baltimore Sun reported that the temperature dropped to 3 degrees Tuesday morning at Baltimore Washington International Airport. With wind gusts, the temperatures felt at least 20 degrees colder. Some post residents in Patriot Ridge and Potomac Place suffered an extended power outage. The garrison and Pacern opened up temporary shelters in response. And while the temperatures have warmed, winter is far from over. You can check out some winter safety tips in this week's edition of our award-winning newspaper, The Sound Off. Happy New Year, I'm Brian Spann, and welcome to the first edition of Me Week for 2014. With folks still recovering from the holidays and inclement weather slowing things down, post events and activities have yet to really wind up. One organization, however, was busy all week getting prepared for their moment in the sun. Last year, volunteers at the Fort Meade Tax Center assisted more than 1,700 clients, saving the community more than $565,000 in tax preparation and filing fees, resulting in more than $4.6 million in refunds. This week, volunteers are busy getting certified for the new tax season. Well, this year we have 11 borrowed military manpower, so these are the full-time service members that have been assigned to us to work throughout the entire tax season. We have about 20 volunteers, and these are civilians, retirees, spouses um, in the Fort Meade community who have volunteered their time. The tax center is scheduled to start taking appointments on January 27th. However, they are hosting a grand opening ceremony on the 21st. In any case, just about anyone with a DOD ID card can use the tax center services. We see anybody who's eligible for our legal assistance services, so DOD ID card holders, active, active duty service members, family members, and retirees. It's free. Um, our tax preparers are professionally trained by the IRS and their associates. Um, we, we've had a good record last year in preparing accurate returns, timely returns. Lieutenant Yao added that the customers can really help by ensuring that they bring required identification and documentation. Um, oftentimes people don't have all their documents. The first important document that they need to have is their social security card, unless they were here last year and we already have a copy of that on file. But we will tell all our clients to bring in their social security cards, the original social security card, all their supporting documents, so W-2s, 1099s, um, anything that they will need to prepare their taxes. Um, when they call in for an appointment, the intake person would go over that with them again and they should be receiving something in their email reminding them all the items they need to bring. And the best part of the tax center service, it's free. Once again, the center opens up for the season on Monday, January 27th. Elsewhere, periodically Me TV checks in on the latest in construction projects going on on post. The last time we did this was in October. Here's the new Exchange Mall in October with a shot here from this week. The new Gate 32 Exchange Express has come a long way since October. They're scheduled to open next month with a new vendor on post, Arby's Roast Beef. The intersection at Cooper and Mapes has about doubled in size since October, adding multiple turn lanes, new lights, and concrete medians. And finally, the future of Army enlisted service member housing is taking shape. The Reese Crossings community will see its first tenants this spring with a completion date later this year. Finally this week, here's a new video from the Veterans Administration explaining the fastest way to get a benefits decision. The Veterans Benefits Administration, or VBA, is in the midst of a multi-year transformation plan to better shape how we handle and process veterans' claims. In the past, veterans completed paper forms by hand and mailed them to their local regional office, adding time to the process even before VA could begin working on the claim. Once started, processors had to look through dozens, even hundreds, of paper documents to find information that supported the claim. But now VBA has developed eBenefits, a web-based system that walks veterans through an easy application process. This makes it simpler and faster to upload supporting documents and electronically submit a disability compensation claim. Veterans can also visit an accredited veterans service organization to assist with uploading and filing documents online so VA can process it electronically. Submitting a claim electronically speeds up the claims process and enables VA processors to search hundreds of documents using keywords to find the exact information in a fraction of the time. Processing claims electronically contributes to faster, more accurate decisions. This is just one of the transformation initiatives that is overhauling the way we do business at VBA and a major step toward reaching our goal of processing claims within 125 days with 98% accuracy in 2015. At VBA, we are all in. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.